Okay, so it's about 11 o'clock on day two of the ALS wheelchair challenge, and I managed to get myself back into my wheelchair and buckled in. I love that this thing has a seat belt so I don't fall out of it. Medichair, you must have known my needs when you gave me this wheelchair. Thanks again. It's such a comfortable wheelchair, which is, I mean, obviously important when you're going to be in it all the time, right? Uh, but anyway, I managed to get into bed last night. My girlfriend showed up and she gave me a hand, which I needed. Otherwise, I probably would have been sleeping on the couch tonight, or last night, but uh, that's not really a terrible idea, but my bed is a little more comfortable. She also uh, was able to help me get up and get into my wheelchair this morning. And I also got really lucky in that uh, she cooked some food when she came over last night. Also, my roommate cooked a little bit of food earlier on, so I didn't really go hungry and I didn't have to experience the troubles of getting around the kitchen in a wheelchair and trying to cook and not being able to reach stuff in the top cupboard. So lucked out huge that way. So I want to say thanks to uh, my girlfriend Ann and my roommate Cole for hooking me up there. Um, and the fact of the matter is, I mean, with someone with ALS, any day where you can still get up and get out of bed and still, you know, cook for yourself, that's a huge success because, well, uh, as you advance through the stages of ALS, you lose control of your body. That's what it does, you know. It kills the motor neurons inside your body, but it doesn't affect your uh, brain at all. So, well, in most cases anyway, uh, the brain might not be affected. So, I read a lot, I've read a lot of stories of people suffering from ALS, and one of the big things is the mental anguish that comes along with the phys physical effects because you're there basically watching your body deteriorate, knowing that you can't do anything about it. You know, 80% uh, of people who are diagnosed with ALS die within two to five years. Uh, some people die within months of diagnosis, and then about 10% of people can live for 10 years or longer with the disease, but that's you know a rarity. For the majority of people, it's two to five years, and ALS is fatal. Uh, so, you know, we've made a lot of headway since the Ice Bucket Challenge started. A lot of money has been donated to ALS research, which is great. I'm certainly hoping that this can keep the trend going. It doesn't really count unless you make a donation. You know, the whole reason we did the wheelchair challenge is because the ice bucket challenge is kind of vain. You know, it's about the person in the video and not about the cause. So I'll be making a donation once I uh, meet up with Kernsey. Steve Kearns has graciously accepted my nomination for the ALS wheelchair challenge. So I'll be meeting up with him a little bit and uh, we will be making a trade-off wheelchair.